Geology in a jiffy. What's in the bag? It's... An introduction to weathering. Weathering is the breaking down of rocks and minerals at the Earth's surface. There are three forms of weathering. Biological, chemical and physical. With water, acids, salts, plants, animals and changes in temperature all aiding the process. Biological weathering is caused by organisms. For example, plants can weather rocks by their roots. In this now disused 100 year old quarry wall, we see the roots of trees growing out from and around the rock. If we look more closely at these roots, we can see the roots have not only pushed and split the rock out horizontally sideways, but have also done so diagonally and vertically too. The once massive rock has been broken into many smaller pieces. This large protruding block is clearly being forced away from the cliff face, where it will eventually fall off and continue to be further weathered. It is not only plant roots that biologically weather rocks, as animals can too, via their waste. Plant roots in this waste can both leach chemicals into the rocks, these flowing deeper and further into the rock, further weathering the rock. It is not only larger organisms that can weather rocks. This beach pebble has been burrowed through by these mollusks. Even soft-bodied worms can do so too. Over time, fresh and angular surfaces of rocks can be colonised by algae, lichen and mosses, these all secreting chemicals into the rocks below them. Chemical weathering happens, in addition to these organism-originating chemicals, when we burn fuels, such as the fossil fuels, coal, oil and gas. These release chemicals into the air, for example when burnt in power stations and cars, these gases being acidic, which, when dissolved in rainwater, can make acid rain, which can corrode calcareous rocks, such as limestone and marble. This limestone statue, erected in 1937, stands in the centre of London, England. If we study the two limestone pillars, the right-hand pillar shows clear signs of more chemical weathering towards the top of the pillar, as the acid rain has dripped downwards on and within the rock. But when we study the other pillar, we see it is far more weathered, the softer, weaker parts of the rock having been weathered away. Wow! Physical weathering, also called mechanical weathering, or disaggregation, is caused by the effects of changing temperature on rocks, causing the rock to break apart. The process is sometimes assisted by water. There are two main types of physical weathering, freeze-thaw and exfoliation. Freeze-thaw happens where extremes of temperature and water act together. This cliff face has a piece of rock sticking out. It parts separated from the cliff by a crack. When it rains, rainwater collects in this crack section. Below zero degrees Celsius, the rainwater freezes and turns to ice, the ice expanding as it forms, forcing the rock fragment away from the cliff. As temperatures rise, the ice melts, leaving the fragment now more dislodged. Further rain brings a larger puddle, which then freezes, the new ice further expanding the crack. This ice melts, leaving the rock fragment hanging even more from the cliff face. More rain, more ice, more melting, push the rock fragment so far out that the weight of the water, combined with the force of gravity, cracks the base of the rock fragment, until gravity overcomes and the fragment topples from the cliff face. That's amazing! Exfoliation means the peeling of layers, like in an onion, sat upon pages of a book. A rock or boulder upon a surface, due to repeated freeze-thaw processes, will eventually shrink by exfoliation, the outer layers peeling away as cracks develop parallel to the land surface. As these rock pedestals in Egypt demonstrate, eventually the weakened base will give way, causing the overlying masses to topple, lie on the floor and be further weathered away. Please do watch out for our Geology and Jiffy videos that give more detail about biological weathering, chemical weathering and physical weathering. Please subscribe to my channel. Bye!